over the last three weeks, I've had a lot of turkey. And so I've made this commitment. For the next few weeks, I don't want any gobble in my food. I only want my food to have mooed, oinked, maybe clucked. So today, I'm making a smoked pepper crusted bison burger. To get started today, I've got a tablespoon and a half of mixed peppercorns. They're multicolored. You got some white, got some red, got some black. And we're gonna grind these up so they're broken down a bit, not to a fine powder though. So I have my spice grinder here and I'm just gonna put the peppercorns in. Like I said, we're just gonna break these down a bit. That's what I'm looking for. Some little tiny chunks in there. Not everything is a fine powder. All right, let's move on to mixing up this bison. What I'm working with today is some 85% lean ground bison. This is 12 ounces. I'm gonna make two six ounce burgers out of this. First thing I wanna do is I wanna hit this with just a little bit of salt. I mean, that's maybe half a teaspoon of salt. I'm also gonna add one to two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. I'm using a Trader Joe's garlic sriracha barbecue sauce. You can use any barbecue sauce you want. Time to get dirty and mix this up. Get that sauce mixed into the meat fully. I'm happy with that. It's time to make some patties. I'm just dividing that 12 ounces of bison roughly into two parts and hand forming some patties, nothing fancy. Just like that. Make a second one. Number two. All right, let's pepper crust these. So I have my ground peppercorns here just in a shallow dish. I'm gonna take the burgers, put them in there, turn them over. Get a good coating on both sides, just like that. These are gonna go in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes to firm up a little bit. And while that's going on, I'm gonna go out and get the Weber kettle going. So I have the kettle set up today with the vortex about half full and it's pushed to one side. I'm doing that because as I said, I'm gonna smoke this burger first before it gets seared in cast iron so I need an indirect zone. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this lit. I'm just using my propane torch today to get it going. I just hit it in a few spots and it'll take off and get going. All right, I'm gonna let these coals get going and then we're gonna get our pepper crusted bison burgers out here, start smoking them. All right, it's time to check our kettle and see how we're doing. I did put a small container in here with some butter and some horseradish that I started melting. That's gonna be brushed on the buns before I toast them. See, that's looking good. Give that a quick mix in there. Basically just making a little horseradish butter. And I'm gonna set that aside. It's got a little piece of foil there, to catch drips. I'm gonna put my burgers right here. I wanna get a temperature probe into this one. Now I'm going to get a piece of post oak on here. That's what I'm going to be smoking with today. And it's not going to be taking a long time. This is not going to be a multi-hour smoke. We just want to get a little bit of smoke flavor on these burgers. Also, right next to the burgers over here, I'm just placing some foil with some pieces of red onion on it. I just want that to sort of soften, cook down a little bit, and get some of the smoke flavor too. All right, our post oak is going. Let's get the lid on and get smoking. Now, the internal temperature of the meat right now, if you can see that, is about 54 degrees. I'm gonna be taking it to about 140 degrees before I sear it in the cast iron pan. It should end up finishing about 150. Now, it's always recommended when you're cooking with ground bison, even ground beef, to cook it to 160. But you have to make your own choice. Do you like your burgers medium rare? Rare, well done. For me, I like bison burgers about 150. I don't like them as rare or medium rare as my ground beef hamburger. So we'll come back at about 140 degrees and we'll sear these in the cast iron pan. All right, the burgers are moving pretty fast. So I'm gonna call an audible here and start heating my cast iron pan early. Oh, those burgers are looking really nice. Okay, I'm gonna get my cast iron pan on here, get it heating up. 
I'm also gonna go ahead and remove the onions, which look good to me. Go ahead and get my temperature probe out of here. I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna let our pan get nice and hot. I'm gonna set my horseradish butter back over here so it gets nice and warm. And while this pan's heating up now, before we get the burgers in there, I'm gonna fry up some brown sugar bacon. Just love that cast iron sizzle. Give these a turn. I wanna keep these at AFS. If you've watched my videos, you know what that means? Acceptable floppy state. I prefer non-crispy bacon. So I'm gonna pull these off as they reach the level of doneness that I like. And then we'll move on to our burgers. Okay, we've got some nice bacon grease in there now. Let's sear up our burgers. Not gonna take long. Just love that smell of the pepper crust on a burger, especially a bison burger. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn these and reposition them slightly. Just have that beautiful char on the outside. Looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside. And we're gonna move our cast iron pan off the kettle. And I've got two burgers, but I'm only gonna be toasting one bun today. Butter here. Brush it on my bun. Love this horseradish butter. Just gonna go ahead and put this directly on the grill for just a minute. There we go, just like that. Looking good, got that nice bubbling butter there. All right, we're gonna get inside and we're gonna build our smoked pepper crusted bison burger. All right, here is our smoked pepper crusted bison burger resting on the bottom bun. Just a couple things left to do here. I'm not putting any other sauce on it, no cheese. I don't really like cheese on bison burgers, but I am gonna put those onions on. They've just sort of softened and absorbed some of that smoke flavor and my bacon cooked to AFS, acceptable floppy state. One look at that and all I can think is, it's time to taste. Here we go. Our smoked pepper crusted bison burger. Now, some people may ask, why didn't I put cheese? Why didn't I put sauce? There's sauce inside this. I'm just not a cheese guy all the time on burgers. And the amount of flavor in this from both that brown sugar bacon and the horseradish butter on the bun is just gonna be over the top. So let's see how we did. Whoa. Wow, that is really good. Hmm. what's really interesting is I get a hit of that post oak right away. I thought that would be really subtle, but it's right away in this burger, which makes sense. You know, it just coated the outside of the burger with all the moisture on it, but it's a really nice surprise that that post oak isn't lost with all these other flavors. Now I've talked to many people who feel that bison is kind of a bland meat when you cook it. But if you feel that way, put some barbecue sauce in the meat like I did before you mix it up and form your patties and you get great flavor throughout. Mm. The onions are nice. The tang of that horseradish on the bun is nice. But I gotta say something, that brown sugar bacon in here just goes perfectly with the bison. And I am a big fan of pepper crusting burgers. I've done it several times in videos, I think. And I just do it frequently when I'm making burgers for myself. I love a lot of pepper. You don't have to put pepper on this if you don't want to. That bison mix with some barbecue sauce is really enough to satisfy. Mm. So don't be too skeptical about bison if you've never had it or if you've had a bad experience with it. Give it a little extra care, some smoke, some sauce, some great bacon on top, something on the bun. You got a winner. Mm-hmm.